Live Lee Nation, are you always buying bottled water? On today's episode, we're talking with the three surprising secrets about bottled water. Stay tuned. Welcome to Live Lean TV. I am your host, Brad. That's with the number one expert teaching you how to live lean 365 days a year. Now in the comment section below, tell me, do you always buy bottled water? And if so, which brand do you prefer? And before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to our brand new day in the life of living lean daily vlogs on our second YouTube channel. You'll see how Jess and I work out and eat every day. Make sure you click right here and go subscribe. All right, let's get into the three surprising secrets about bottled water. Number one, the crazy high cost of bottled water. Approximately 11.8 billion a year is spent on bottled water alone in just the US. That's over 30 billion bottles a year. But here's where it gets surprising. Let's say a 20 ounce bottle of water costs on average $1.45. That's 1,900 times more expensive than tap water. But what's even crazier is I just read a stat that 40% of bottled water is just actually regular tap water. And if we do a little conversion to gallons, at that price, one gallon of water equals $9.27. So to put that in perspective, a gallon of gas typically costs $3.50. Secret number two, better tasting bottled water doesn't mean it's more pure. Water purity doesn't influence the actual taste of the water. The mineral concentration does. So in other words, some of the biggest brands of bottled water is just city water with added in minerals to increase the taste. Surprising secret number three, is it safer to drink bottled water? In some circumstances, most city tap water has stricter purity standards than the bottled water industry. And one test found that 22% of the brands in the study contain chemicals above state limits. So the chemicals to watch out for are chlorine and fluoride. And that's pretty scary since chlorine, you, as you know, is used in pools to kill bacteria. So what do you think that's gonna do to the good kind of bacteria that's found in your gut? So if your area is known for having chlorine in your tap water, best go with some sort of filtration system. I currently use a Brita, but that may not be the best option for you if you have to filter out those heavy metals. If you have the budget, look into like a reverse osmosis system for best results. Also, here's another big thing. Your water bottle may contain BPA, in other words, potentially pumping estrogen mimicking chemicals into your body. Hello, man boobs. Always avoid plastic water bottles that contain BPA as it can leak into your water, especially when it's heated. So I want you to drink from BPA free water bottles. Stainless steel water bottles like this guy right here are your best choice. And if you do drink from a plastic bottle, make sure the recycling symbol on the bottom shows the number two or four or five. This means it should be free of BPA. If the symbol shows seven, stay away. And if it shows one on most bottles, it's intended for one time use only. In other words, don't refill it. Also, typically the firmer the plastic, the better. So bottom line here guys is I'm not telling you not to buy bottled water. I still buy certain brands of bottled water when I'm out. I just want you to be aware of what you're buying. So here's your Live Lean tip. If you're looking to save money, invest in a reusable BPA free water bottle or use a glass container like this right here. Keep it filled with filter tap water throughout the day. So for more daily tips to live lean like this, make sure you follow us on Facebook. And if you enjoyed this episode, please give us that big thumbs up by clicking that like button right down there and click subscribe as we upload new episodes every Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday. I wanna thank you for watching and keep living lean. Look at that just fall off the bone.